Thank you for joining me on this quick demo of Data Dive. Uh, we believe it's the most powerful product research and optimization tool on the market for Amazon sellers. Uh, we've got tons of tools we're developing. We have a large team of over 24 programmers working to make this an even better tool for you every single day. We just crossed 1,500 paid users and we've only been at it for about eight months. So I'm super excited to introduce you to Data Dive. Perhaps one of the most difficult things to do when using Data Dive is to figure out which products you should use to seed your data. I think it's the best policy to try to find the 15 best sellers of the niche that you're looking to analyze. You can make that wider or more narrow. What you're seeing is a beta tool that we're launching that is going to help you analyze the niche that you're looking to analyze. So we're going to show you which keywords there are that are driving sales for the majority of the competitors that are similar and which subcategories you might find them in. What we find is that sometimes you can't find the 15 best sellers on one keyword or even the first two pages of one keyword. That's what makes looking at the data so important. You'll also see that there are multiple subcategories where you might find sellers of the same type of product. So what we're looking to do is to add sellers from multiple keywords. And we can do that uh, by using the tray. Simply add products to your tray from product detail pages or subcategories or from search results. And then that way you can seed your own search on Amazon. Once you have that search, that custom search, you can run X-Ray and run your dive that way. And that's just one way to do it. The other option is to do it all from one uh, keyword. So what we've done here is we've run X-Ray and loaded two pages. And then I'm going to sort by best sellers. Now, I wanted to use this product in particular because it's a very interesting use case. Uh, there are many competitors that don't have a best seller rank or a BSR, but they still have keyword data and they're still making sales. So how do you get that data and why can Data Dive do it? What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the NAs. Uh, basically, X-Ray is showing that there are no sales for these competitors, but they have a decent amount of reviews and they are very relevant to what we're looking to sell, uh, which in this case is a sports card uh, graded case or protective case for sports cards. So what you see me doing is clicking the box on the left, which is basically signaling to Data Dive, which is laying on top of X-Ray up at the top. I'm signaling to Data Dive that that's the competitor that I want to pull into my research sheet, which we call a master keyword list. You'll also notice that I'm trying to avoid adding multiple child listings from the same parent listing because the data is going to be the same. So I click through and I actually look to make sure that the variations aren't being included in the dive. Once we have at least 15 competitors selected, we're going to hit dive and data dive is going to begin to pull data from Cerebro, Google Trends, X-Ray and Keepa. Uh, we also pull some data from Amazon. Within 60 seconds, you should have your master keyword list amongst many other uh, tools that we've created for you. And there it is. This is our master keyword list. Uh, this is the beta version that would populate into uh, Google Sheets. This is the version that you might be familiar with. The most important thing that we're trying to understand is the question, how are our competitors getting their sales? Now remember, some of these competitors don't have BSRs or bestseller ranks, but you can see here clearly that they're ranked well for a bunch of keywords. Now we've sorted those keywords and counted them. And we've got at least 80 something keywords here with three relevancy and at least 350 search volume. We calculate relevancy by counting the number of competitors that are ranking well for these keywords. Obviously, the more competitors that are ranking well for a keyword, the more relevant it is. Next, I'm going to look for keywords that only one or two competitors might be taking advantage of. We call those outlier keywords. 
And you can see on the second tab here, we've pulled these keywords out. And you can see that sometimes they are loosely related or more generic keywords. They might be branded keywords. And so these might be keywords that you can't get sales from yourself or duplicate the success of these other sellers. But sometimes they become gold nuggets that you can dig and find. So we like to include this data for you so you can see who is taking advantage of keywords uh, that others might not be. And you can decide whether you can duplicate that same success by indexing and ranking your own product for them. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at which keywords are we ranked well for? So if we were selling this product, we would actually look at our own rankings for each keyword. And you're gonna see that once we sort this by search volume rather than by uh, relevancy, you're gonna see a lot of holes in indexing here. You're gonna find major root words or major words that many of these best seller, uh, sellers are not ranking well for. And this is where you can start to understand how good the market is or how good the competitors are. On this tab, we break down all the keywords into repeated words and phrases. We call them roots. And you can see that we've got two, three, and four word roots here. And we like to see a large distribution of sales, or I'm sorry, search volume amongst these words. If, if, if there's too much of a concentration of search volume, into one main route, it becomes a more risky proposition or product. We love to identify different ways people are searching and looking for products. And so we love to look at that tab and show that to you. The next thing we're gonna do is remove some keywords that might not be relevant. So you're seeing here that I'm looking at words that might not fit and I can remove them either individually by checking the box and removing or I can exclude the entire phrase. And if I exclude the phrase, you'll see that uh, it is all of the keywords are removed from with that phrase and uh, the search volume is adjusted. And once we've removed those keywords, you can see that uh, our evaluation of those competitors has changed as well. Next, I'm gonna show you the battle of the titles. We're gonna take that data set and all of those keywords from the master keyword list, and we're going to identify from the titles of each of our competitors across the top, which of these keywords they represented in their title. And then we're also going to identify what is the match type that they used. We understand Amazon's algorithm will give you more ranking potential based on the match type. We will give you a score uh, for how much ranking potential you have or your competitors have, and we call that ranking juice. Next, I'm going to click on deep dive. We're going to look at the uh, search volume trends and the Google trends of this niche, and you're going to see that there was a major boom in sports cards during COVID, and it looks like it's continuing. We're then going to be able to look at all of the competitors, look at their content, how many variations they have, uh, and get a lot more data about each competitor and understand if we can do a better job of creating a better listing uh, than our competition has. Next, I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning up of that list and I'm going to remove some of the keywords that don't necessarily belong that I can't get sales from. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the listing builder. This is the secret sauce. This is one of the most powerful tools we have built into Data Dive. And we built it so that it would actually give you a score, your own ranking juice, as you write, because it's gonna analyze which of the keywords you've written into your listing and which of the roots you've represented and missed. This way you can make sure that you don't have any holes in your indexing, that you've maximized your ranking potential for every important keyword, and you've prioritized keywords based on broad search volume, exact search volume, and root. In this example, I'm just gonna simply add a keyword that was missing, and you'll see that I've significantly improved the ranking potential of this product and filled in some holes. And I did all of that in just a matter of seconds. But this is the part you've been waiting for. This is the sneak peek at our full web application. This is the new master keyword list. And on the left, you're going to see all of the tools that we've been building out for you. Most excitedly, 
are the new PPC tools that we've been building into Data Dive for you. Once you bring over your master keyword list into the PPC keywords tool, we're going to normalize it where we remove conjunctions and plurals so you avoid overlap. We'll also combine the search volume for you so that you can be uh, understand how much search volume you're targeting when you turn on an exact campaign. Many people don't realize that Amazon will show up for multiple keywords and the plurals of keywords even in exact campaigns. The next tool that I'm super excited about is our PPC campaigns by route. We allow you to target just one or a couple root words to try to drive more traffic, add to carts, and conversions to help you rank for just that root word or related words. We understand Amazon's algorithm requires a lot of traffic and a lot of actions, and we understand that you get credit for multiple keywords based on uh, the match type. So you get a lot of attribution to hundreds of keywords anytime you get an action like an add to cart or a purchase or conversion. And it's not enough to just bid $7 on that one keyword oftentimes. So we're giving you tools so that you can be more precise with what you're targeting and draw, go deeper in your research and data. You don't want to turn on too much PPC because you will dilute the, the performance of your listing. You will raise your tacos too high too fast and uh, you'll endanger the livelihood or the longevity of your product. So this is one of the coolest tools that we've built into Data Dive to date, and we've got a lot more coming. So I hope that that walkthrough was helpful for you in understanding how Data Dive works and how it can potentially help you in your business. So whether you're deciding whether to even do a product and analyzing how good the competition is, uh, how many keywords there are, how much opportunity there is, the distribution, how many routes, or whether you've already launched your product and you need to optimize it, uh, whether you want to rewrite it and see what the holes in your indexing are, which keywords you're not taking advantage of, which routes you need to rewrite into your listing, or whether you want to launch a bunch more uh, PPC. Data Dive is going to help you do all of that. And again, we've got 24 programmers building tons of tools in parallel. We're going fast and we're going to become uh, the tool that is the standard in the industry. So if you aren't already a member, please join us. Uh, there's a special code that I've included for you guys, Brandon50. It will give you $50 off per month forever uh, once you plug it in at datadive.tools. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this. If you would like, as an agency or an enterprise account, a full demo uh, with one of your own products, feel free to reach out. We're happy to do that and provide ongoing support and education for you as well through Seller Systems. Uh, keep in mind, Inner Circle members, Seller Systems members uh, receive $100 off per month. They only pay $50 per month for Data Dive. Uh, so if you're interested in education and further uh, education, feel free to join us in the Inner Circle. Uh, and that link is now here below as well. Take care, everyone.